awesome. You have greasy hair and zero time to wash it. Well, I've got a video for you. Yeah. Step one. Make sure you're wearing super exotic makeup and heavy eyebrows. And pull the faces for fun. Woo! Step two. You're gonna get some dry shampoo and spray the crap out of your greasy locks. Make yourself look like an old person who has gray hair with spots everywhere. Cruella de Vil, anybody? Just keep going until it looks super white and you can't feel the grease. I have gassed myself and not with my farts. Oh well, grab your brush and brush it all through so that the dusty shampooy goodness gets all the way into the greasy hair. Step 3A. Grab a leg comb with a metal bottom and comb all the hair back and then zigzag part. You don't know how to zigzag part? Google it. I literally just showed you and it's not hard at all. Look, mmm, pretty. I find that it's super easier to do my hair if I take one half of it and then just get it out of the way. So I tie it up and then I can work on the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my three strands for my French braid and just do a French braid down my hair. If you don't know how to do a French braid and you want me to do a tutorial on it, uh, like and comment because that's how I know that you want things from me. Anyway, I just, yeah, French braid my hair. Fun fact though, whenever I do braids on myself, I always do French braids. And when I do braids on other people, I do Dutch braids. I don't know if that's like a thing that other people do, but I seem to do it all the time. And don't forget to French braid the other side because you can go walking around town looking like a nutter. Ain't nobody want that. Look at me go, doing my hair super fast. I wish I could do it that fast. The flash could do it that fast. There you go, French braid done. And this hides greasy hair so well. I do this all the time and I get compliments on it from work friends. Now I look like Pippi Longstocking. Step 3B. Yeah, it's a backwards B. Otherwise known as a D. Get over it, guys. Brush your hair out again. Do that. And then get your comb, your friendly friend the comb, and you're going to do a middle part. Uh, try and get it as straight as you can because if you don't then people are going to look at your hair even more and that's what we're trying to avoid. Now you want to section your hair like the front third and then just grab it all and make it as sleek as you can. Get your comb back in there. Get it all nice and straight and then you're going to twist it, pull it around to the back and pin it with a bobby pin. You may need more than one bobby pin. I generally use about two or three on each side because my hair is so thick. And you're going to want to do the exact same thing on the other side of your head. Make sure that you do the same thing and it's all even and it's all sleek and fly away free. And again, just pin it with some bobby pins to make it all good and tight and secure. Also guys, if you curl the bottoms of your hair, this looks really cool. Step 3C. Armpits are really weird, aren't they? Please just forgive me for my weird looking armpits. Anyway, pull all your hairs back. Comb down those sides, girl. And you're gonna pull it back into a ponytail. Uh, make sure that, again, your part is straight and get it all in hands and back and as sleek as possible. Use a comb to get those hair bits that you don't want to control see all over the place down. Get them down, girl. With a pony, I always hate when the band is exposed, so I'll grab a chunk of my hair from underneath and then I'll wrap it around my hair band so that you can't see it. I just think it looks nicer and it means that you um, don't get the breakup, so it just looks like all hair, which is really cool. Look at that. Swish. Like me, you have bangs and just weird, awkward hair at the front of your head. Grab some hairspray and spray the crap out of it because it'll help keep it all down and sleek. Basically, you just want to try and get it as um, smooth and sleek and pretty looking as you can. So if you want to grab the back of your comb and just drag it down so that your hair kind of stays down while you're spraying it like I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, and just smooth it out with your hands. I find hands are really good. Push those little fringy bits back that make you look like a psycho. And bobby pin bits that won't go down with hairspray. 
I have one side that just pokes out all the time. It's very frustrating. There we are, hair that looks like you meant to have it that way and it doesn't look greasy and disgusting. All right, fluff up the bottom bit of your hair, slash you could curl them if you wanted to. To be honest, I'm pretty happy with that. Step four, if you're too lazy to do any of that, which let's face it, we all kind of are. <laughs> Go back to bed, get into your lion onesie and watch Netflix or YouTube or, you know, Project Free TV all day. Or stalk really cute boys on Tumblr. Hey, I'm not a judge. Do what you do when you're happiest. I, I, peace. <laughs>